The inspiration for building a center of excellence began at the inception of the organization. In one of the initial board meetings for the founding of the CSP Foundation, the members brainstormed about ways to provide a life-changing opportunity to the communities that they would like to impact in Africa. One of the members reminisced upon their fondest childhood experiences attending an after-school program at a local Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit called Martha's Table. Martha's Table has impacted and transformed the lives of this member's family in so many ways, and she wanted to give that same experience to other communities as a way to pay it forward. This organization inspired them deeply because they were the epitome of community transformation. The programs and services they offered all catered toward a common goal of the Children's Support Program, ending poverty. Though the demographic may vaguely differ, the concept on the approach to community development rings true globally. Serve a child by serving the entire community. This was the same kind of effect that the Children's Support Program was looking to implement in Africa. To help resolve the issue of poverty by bringing the community together and providing access to sustainable solutions. Hence, this is how the mission statement was developed. During that meeting, it was resolved that an after-school program in Fatima, Guinea would be the first pilot program of the Center of Excellence. All the founders believed that this was certainly bound to be an exciting, life-changing opportunity for children in the rural village areas because it was something that they had never had the chance to experience in life. The name was selected to be used as a tool of empowerment. Every time a child said that they were attending a center of excellence, both parent and child would be reminded to constantly strive for excellence in their daily lives, no matter what. Generally, a center of excellence is a place where the community can go to continuously strive for excellence. This center is designed to be a central meeting place that provides necessary skills-based training to both children and adults. Our centers of excellence are sustainable community centers that are built, ran, and led by the community to foster the growth of the future leaders of Africa, our children. Our ultimate purpose is to provide an empowering, long-term, and self-sustainable solution to the issues of poverty in the villages we impact. In short, it is a community center for sustainable development, a place where you can have quality education and proper nutrition. Because the CSP Foundation is in 100% alignment with the United Nations World Vision, all of our programs fall into the Sustainable Development Goals categories. It is essential to note that the center was specifically designed to target the collective goal of number 11, developing sustainable cities and communities. The overall vision is to provide a place where the community can learn skills that will enhance their quality of life. In turn, this allows them to take proactive steps towards freeing their community from the ties of intergenerational poverty. We measure our impact by seeing the level of monthly and annual growth in specific skill sets that allow for global competitiveness. Planting a seed today for a forest tomorrow. The Center of Excellence's Sustainable Program Initiatives. The After School Program. Education is the Center of Excellence's form of providing life-changing opportunities. It is a fun and fully immersive educational experience for children. Our program model is designed to be STEAM-based compatible to simulate the experience that children of the same age group have in the Western world. The after-school program serves as a supplement to the current local school education. The lessons and activities are specifically designed to enhance the quality of education for the children who attend. 
Each child receives one free nutritious meal and one free snack served daily. The curriculum includes homework and tutoring assistance, STEM or STEAM-based activities, language including English and French immersion. This is to increase literacy rates to 100%, history, which includes world and local community-based history, extracurricular activities, which includes the soccer team and games, and the student library. Our future programs include summer camp and adult education programs. Currently, the center operates five days a week. Each center is intended to serve a minimum of 60 school attending children. Our first established center is located in the rural mountain areas of Guinea in a remote village known as Farama. The support of the local community leaders allows this initiative to be possible. We take an integrative approach to the goal of sustainability. Our approach merges active community-based involvement with access to the necessary resources and tools to provide an environment of full sustainability. Here are some ways you can support. You can consider donating to the monthly operational expenses, which includes monthly volunteer stipends and the daily food program. You can also support the library. Books in STEAM are preferred. You can also support the Future Agricultural Farm Project. This is to increase longevity. We are building a sustainable farm that cultivates organic produce. This will serve the center with meals for years to come. The remaining harvest will be distributed to the elderly and disadvantaged in the local community. Lastly, you can help us to fulfill our 2030 vision of building 10 centers in 10 years. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website at the cspfoundation.org today.
trying to make sure all the food goes into the, um, the vegetables and everything goes into one pack because we have limited time. We only have like an hour for them to eat and then go play. Our program is three hours a day. But if we have to do where we have the sauce, we have all that, it's going to be too much. So I teach the women how to cook vegetables with fried rice. We're going to have like morning, some days, we're going to have all the different kind of food. And then we're going to have also the meals that they used to because some of these meals they're not used to. So we're going to make sure that they have the meals that they've been using here, which is the millet, and also which is the cassava, all those things that they're, really, that they're familiar with, I should say. But we want to also have nutrition for them because I know the beans, the proteins, uh, most of them really don't have that opportunity for them to really have meals that have all the ingredients that are supposed to have so that we can have a healthy meal. So that's why we have it this way. And these are my assistants that are going to be um, carrying the program. Yeah. 